The human brain. What does it do? What are its parts and what are some cool facts about it? Pag-usapan natin yan in this video. The human brain. For me, this is one of the most interesting yet complicated topics na may encounter po ninyo when you take BS Psychology. So, what does it do? A little recap lang po ng basic definition and general function ng brain po natin. The brain serves as the nervous system's command center and is the most complicated organ in the entire body. The human brain po is the seat of intellect, the interpreter of the senses, the controller of actions, and the initiator of body movements. Many of the characteristics that characterize our humanity come from the brain. So yun po ang basic definition and general function of the human brain. Now let's talk about some interesting facts about it. Fact number one, about 75% of your brain, of our brain, is made up of water. So a little dehydration po can have a big impact on your brain. So yeah, drink more water. Fact number two, the largest brain of any animal in the entire animal kingdom is that of the sperm whale, which is this one. So, gaano nga ba kalaki or kabigat yung brain ng sperm whale compared sa brain nating mga tao? The sperm whale's brain is about 8,000 cubic centimeters, yun po yung size niya, and it weighs about 20 pounds, which is approximately 9 kilograms. While sa human brain naman po, our brain is about 1,300 cubic centimeters and our brain only weighs about 3 pounds which is 1.37 kilos. Although it does not mean na porket mas malaki yung brain ng sperm whale, eh dapat mas matalino siya sa atin. Because that is not necessarily how that works. I'll discuss ko siguro yan in a future video. Fact Number three. Now, this may come as a surprise, but the brain cannot feel pain. It interprets pain signals sent to it, but in itself cannot feel pain. So why is that? Why can't our brain feel pain? Well, it's because wala pong nociceptor or pain receptor sa loob ng brain tissue. Pag tinignan po kasi natin yung brain, so ito muna, meron tayong skin, meron tayong skull, and after nung skull, meron pang natitirang dalawang layer and meron pang natitirang matter doon. Pero pag inexpose mo na yung brain totally, the brain in itself has no nociceptor. That is why it cannot feel Pain. This feature explains po why neurosurgeons can operate a patient on their brain without any discomfort. So, pag inoperahan ka ng isang neurosurgeon, wala kang mararamdaman kasi your brain cannot feel pain. And in some cases po, neurosurgeons can even perform surgery while the patient is awake. For example po, this one, si Dogmar Turner. Isa po siyang musician and nung naoperahan siya sa London, as you can see, Habang inooperahan yung brain niya, she is playing her violin. Fact number four. The human brain po loses some memory abilities and cognitive skills in our late 20s. And when we get older po, our brain shrinks. Our brain becomes smaller. This shrinkage usually begins around our middle age. Kaya dapat po mas maging patient po tayo sa mga elderly natin na hindi na natin sila matuturuan agad-agad ng mga panibagong skills. And for the last fact po na nilist ko, marami pa po kasi mga facts ang uh, brain. Kung i-discuss po natin lahat, it would take a long, long time. Pero for my last fact, it is a myth that we only use 10% of our brain. Kung napanood na po ninyo yung movie na Lucy, which is this one, uh, starring uh, Scarlett Johansson, dun po sa movie na yon, ang whole premise niya is na-unlock daw ni Scarlett Johansson ang full capacity ng brain niya. Na by the end of the movie, nung na-reach niya na yung 100% ng brain niya, Kaya niya nang mag-manipulate ng matter, kaya niya mag-shapeshift, and kaya niya mag-time travel. Now, after ko pong napanood yung movie na yun, uh, nag-research ako agad kung totoo nga ba na 10% lang yung ginagamit natin sa brain natin. Kasi parang ang cool na, ay kapag na-access ko yung full capacity ng brain ko, magkakaroon ako ng superpowers. 
Turns out, it's not true. Ngayon, paano po yan napatunayan? Kung alam nyo po yung fMRI or yung Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, which is this one, minsan nakikita nyo po yan sa mga teleserya or sa mga movies, ginagamit po ito para iscan yung brain activity po natin. And dyan po napatunayan na every day na active tayo and while we are asleep, we use most if not all the parts of our brain. Even if we do simple actions, most of our brain is still being used. And hindi nga tayo makalapit-lapit dun sa 10% usage. Kasi even while you are asleep, a lot of the parts of your brain remain active. Although we cannot give a definitive percentage kung ilang percent nga ba yung nagagamit natin, kasi that varies from person to person. It also depends on what a person is doing or thinking about. Pwedeng pareho tayo ng task na ginagawa, pero that does not mean na pareho tayo ng brain capacity na ginagamit. Pwedeng ako, calm lang, so medyo mas mababa yung percentage ko. Ngayon, pwede namang ikaw, we're doing the same task, kumakain tayo pareho, kaso mas marami kang iniisip sa akin. So, that percentage is fully ano, dependent. Pero, it is a myth na 10% lang po ang ginagamit natin. We use most of our brain. Now, those are some fun and interesting facts about the brain. Pwede pa kayong mag-research para maka-unlock pa kayo ng maraming maraming facts about the brain. And uh, ngayon naman, let's proceed to the three main parts or the general parts of the human brain. So the three main parts of the brain is the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and lastly, the brain stem. The cerebrum is the large outer part of the brain. Ito po yung nagkocontrol ng ating reading, learning, thinking, speech, emotions, and planned muscle movements like walking. It also controls our vision, hearing, and other senses. Ang cerebellum naman po, in, which is in the back of the brain, it controls our balance, coordination, and fine muscle control. For example, again, walking. It also functions to maintain our posture and our equilibrium. And lastly naman po, is the brainstem. The brainstem po is what connects the cerebrum to our spinal cord. The brainstem controls the fundamental body functions such as yung breathing, yung eye movements, blood pressure, heartbeat, and even swallowing. So, to end, how do you keep your brain healthy and active? Majority po ng mga ibibigay ko dito sa inyong steps is narinig nyo na. So, the first one is eat a balanced diet, have enough sleep, exercise regularly, drink more water, kasi nga 75% of your brain is made up of water. Drink more water ha, hindi coke, water. And lastly, challenge your brain. Dapat nagkakaroon ka ng mga activities kung saan nag-challenge yung brain mo and nagiging active siya yung nakakapag-isip ka. Such as yung mga puzzles, taking quizzes, and stuff like that. So that ends my video. I hope you all learned something about the human brain. And kung meron po kayo natutunan and nagustuhan nyo yung video, please hit the like and subscribe. And kung meron po kayong questions sa akin, may gusto kayong ipagawang video or meron lang kayong tanong about me personally, leave a comment down below or send me an email on my accounts. Again, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next 